Okay, I'm going to show you how you can um, clone your Hackintosh to another drive as a backup. Um, I'd recommend doing this once you've got your Hackintosh up and running. Do this before you carry on, and then if anything goes wrong, you can always um, reinstall it without having to go through all the bits and pieces it takes to get your Hackintosh up and running. So, I've got mine up and running, it's great, everything's working fine. So, what you want to do is go into Disk Utility. First of all, click on the, uh, the disk you want to clone, which is here. This is my Yosemite drive is on there. Click Restore. And now, click on the drive, or the hard drive you want to restore the disk to. So this will be your backup. Click on that, drag it down into the destination. And now you see this has gone empty again. So we have to click on here again on your source drive, which just to get it uh, in the right order. This is the drive that we're actually on now. And I want to copy it to this drive. OK, that's the first thing. And that, that's very straightforward. But you'll find um, when you try and start with that disk, um, it won't boot because it hasn't got the chameleon bootloader installed. That doesn't it doesn't exactly clone the whole drive like you'd think it would. So we want to go to whatever bootloader you used, whether it was um, Clover or in my case I'm using this multi beast. Okay, and bootloaders, Chimera. Okay, nothing else. You don't. That that's already done on your drive. On you, that's been cloned. Everything's the same. It's just the bootloader we want. So, click the bootloader, build, and here's the important part. We have to change where you install the uh, bootloader. So I'm going to pick my Mac clone backup disk. OK, and I'll click Install. I won't do it now because I don't need to. That will install. takes about 20 seconds, very quick. And before you carry on, Disk Utility once again. Find your new clone drive and click on the, the clone. And then click Repair Disk Permissions. just to be sure. And hopefully if all went well, you should be able to boot into that disk, no problem. It will be exactly the same as the one you're usually booting into, which is great as a backup. I would just keep that somewhere safe and then if something goes wrong with your Hackintosh, you don't have to reinstall everything. Just go to that and do the same thing, but from this disk to your main disk and then it will be back to everything working and everything fine also another thing you could do of course I've got here uh, this is called carbon copy cloner it's very good um, as you can see here Yosemite clone what I do actually I just set this very simple thing there's my source this drive and it goes destination here and it's a full clone backup but the same thing applies once you've done that you still have to um, install the boot drive the chameleon boot bootloader and this is good for me because it, it changes I've got it set I think every day it just backs it up so if everything goes wrong I can just go the worst is I have to go back a day but all my data is all on another drive, so it's normally not a problem. Okay, I hope this helped you, and I'll be back with more soon.